Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I'm unboxing the Samsung 9100 Pro 2TB Gen 5 NVMe SSD. It retails for roughly $300 US at the time of this unboxing. I'll include a link in the description for those of you interested in purchasing one. And in full disclosure, this was not furnished to me by the manufacturer for review purposes, but rather I purchased it. So this is Samsung's first true Gen 5 NVMe SSD, highly anticipated, uh, many expecting it to be the best on the market, especially since Samsung has designed this top to bottom on their own. And this is what makes it unique rather than being from Faison, like all of the other controllers out there, Samsung did it in-house. And especially coming off the heels of some of their SSD issues from uh, years past, uh, which, you know, drove controversy for a manufacturer that was arguably the best on the market every single year, year after year, a little redundant. This was the gen I think a lot of us were waiting for, you know, as a statement from Samsung. And for those of you that follow the channel, you know I'm presently building a new system, workstation, got my Ryzen 9950X 3D ready to go, best CPU on the market, but I'm waiting on the motherboard. And that's because of the motherboard I shared in the past, which is an Asus uh, X870 uh, F, I am not going with. And I've decided to go uh, with the MSI uh, Meg godlike, as expensive as it is, it's just going to accommodate much more for me. And I've just I decided, you know, it's an EATX. It's certainly not for everyone, but for what I do, hybrid of gaming content creation, it's going to be perfect, or at least it should be. So this may very well be the perfect drive for it. The four terabyte was not available when I ordered it uh, last week, which was, or it's actually the beginning of this week uh, when Best Buy made their drop available. Uh, so that was the first time it was actually available to purchase, and so I grabbed it. Now, this drive has a five-year warranty, and of course, I have these other drives here for a reason, which is that, you know, if you don't have a Gen 5 capable board, there is no reason to buy Gen 5. But most would argue, even if you have a Gen 5 capable board, there still isn't a great reason uh, to buy a Gen 5 drive as I open this up. And the reason being, I'm going to have to bring this closer to myself, is that for the most part, uh, the read-write speeds, while they're great on benchmarking, we're not actually necessarily seeing that throughput anywhere else. I think I can actually open this up without breaking the seal. Let's see if I can do that just to make life a little bit easier. Maybe I can't. It looks like I have to. But the whole premise here, again, is uh, if you have a board that supports it, and like the uh, MSI Meg that I'll be getting in, not only does it support it, but you're talking about, I think, a total of... Uh, five drives natively, and then we've got the support slot, um, which adds another two. So I think it's either seven or eight uh, drives in total. So it's just crazy. But you always have to make sure you have enough lanes um, for Gen 5 drives, because that's the other thing is that they do um, require more throughput, which means they are going to work the system a little bit more. And if you don't have the resources, that's another good reason to stick with Gen 4. The other thing here is that um, what's unique about the two terabyte is that if you're looking to stick this in a laptop, uh, I, from the research I did, this is a single-sided drive, uh, so uh, which it is. So that means it's going to fit uh, more easily into uh, tighter spaces. But I think the real story here, as I bring this thing into focus, is what you're trying to get out of a Gen 5 drive. Now, if you're someone who's just looking to game and that's the only show in town for you, then Crucial really makes the best drive at the best price. I personally have contemplated going uh, with the T, or is it the T705? Because uh, the T700, I think, launched in 23, and that was their first, um, you know, high-performance uh, Gen 5 drive. Then came, uh, of course, the 705, and that is their most current drive, and really the drive to beat on read-write performance in the Gen 5 category and price to performance, because right now that four terabytes a little under 400 US dollars on Amazon. I don't think you can beat that in just sheer performance. But if you're going to be doing any other kind of work, uh, creative content, uh, so whether we're talking about Revit uh, or, of course, rendering, video editing, photo editing, that's where I feel like the endurance of uh, the Samsung 9100 Pro may be to your advantage as opposed to the Crucial Drive. And this is not a knock at the Crucial Gen 5 Drive. I still think that's excellent. I still may end up picking one up, but I'm gonna start here. 
And granted, for only $100 more than I paid for this drive, I could have got a four terabyte crucial drive that, you know, theoretically does outperform it. But for me, the biggest concern is endurance. And I believe this sits at 2,400 terabytes. That's something you always want to be aware of. Uh, basically, once you hit the two terabyte threshold, then if you go to four, it's going to double the endurance. Uh, but I believe this one's at 2,400. And that's really important to me. I think the only other drive that I would consider as my OS drive that has endurance thresholds to my liking is really the Fire CUDA line, uh, because that has one of the highest uh, endurance ratings in the business. But um, that's not to say these other drives aren't excellent. Uh, they are. Uh, the Sabrent, if you go with the Gen 5, their drives are great. I don't have one in-house, uh, you know, but obviously had I, that probably would have been the drive I would have gone with uh, out of the gate. Uh, this 4 terabyte 990 Pro uh, which I'd been using as an external drive, is going to find its way into uh, this new build as, of course, a data drive. Same with the Lexar 790, another excellent drive that these all easily hit uh, 7,000 on uh, the read, 6,000 on the write. So these are excellent for just data. And then, of course, my other favorite, the next storage from Sony's uh, Japanese, of course, independent, but still partially owned, uh, drive company next storage makes great products these are actually made in japan go figure um, but get that into frame i just realized you couldn't see it so all of these i actually have two of these guys which will likely end up in that build um, so two if i can bring it into focus my camera loves sony sony loves sony you tell me but this next storage drive again these all average around 300 bucks on any given day right now uh, when i got them they were actually around that price and that was over a year ago and all the nvmes that you're seeing in frame are excellent i can link to all of them you cannot go wrong with the lexar uh, samsung 990 pro or the rocket 4 um, plus and these all are in the same wheelhouse um, with read write performance for gen 4 capability though they of course are backwards compatible and you can use them for gen 3 also but really um, again this video is about that 9100 Pro and Samsung finally entering uh, the Gen 5 game in a real way, if I could ever get this thing back into focus. But excited to get the build going. Chime in with your thoughts. I'm curious what, if you were building today, which drive would you go is, go with? Is it the Crucial I mentioned before, or are you eyeballing the Samsung? Just because of, generally speaking, Sammy having really the best quality NVMe drives on the market year after year, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video. Either way, I don't think you can go wrong with any of these. I was flirting with sticking with Gen 4 for a while, uh, but with that Meg Godlike coming to town, you can see it's going to be an exciting build. I don't have eight terabyte drives to use, and those are still exorbitantly expensive. Um, just to let all of you know, there is a one terabyte version of the 9100. That's 200. This one, again, is three. And then the four terabyte is 550. I do not think that's a good price considering the crucial drive I mentioned earlier can be had for $150 less, provide better performance, even if it comes up short on endurance. Gamers aren't going to care. You won't be doing, uh, you don't need the endurance uh, that content creation, I think, obviously brings to the table. Working with Revit, you know, 30 gig files, granted that's got to be a really big model, but they exist. Um, and in this household, we know. Any questions or comments, please feel free to post them at that like button. And as usual, please feel free to subscribe and please stay safe. Later.